Hello and welcome to another episode on the White Dog Garage YouTube channel. My name is Bob. How do you shorten a bolt? In my case, I have a special tool that I use and in this episode I'm going to show you how I use this tool and how you can make one for yourself. There are many reasons why you would need to shorten a bolt. One is that you only have a uh, a longer bolt in that thread size or second reason is that the particular uh, situation that you want to use the bolt in it is a special length. Japanese motorcycles is a bit of a hobby of mine and it's not uncommon there to find uh, interesting lengths in bolts. So I'm in Australia, we use the metric system, Japanese use the metric system, but <clears throat> off the shelf bolt sizes here in Australia don't necessarily work out for some Japanese users. I can think of my beloved GSX uh, motorcycles, the sprocket cover on it, I think there's something like seven bolts that hold it in place and the common thing is to replace the bolts that came from the factory with uh, allen head or socket head bolts and there's only about two of them that fit standard Australian length bolts the rest of them you have to start with a longer bolt and shorten it uh, so that's, a, that's just one example there's the sort of things you can be faced with having to shorten a bolt. Shortening the bolt sounds relatively simple. You merely mark where you want to cut it off, put it in the vise and cut it off. However, you have to mount it in the vise without crushing the threads. So you can set it up in the vise at an angle that can create its own problems you can of course just uh, screw on the uh, nut to the desired length line up the edges of the hexagon in each case and mount that in the vise that'll hold it still for you to trim the end the problem with mounting in the vise is that if your thread runs all the way to the top you've got nowhere really to attach it. You run the risk of crushing the threads and the other issue is that that's fine with, well not so fine but certainly can work out with a hex bolt. It doesn't necessarily work out with a socket head bolt or with a uh, say Phillips head screw. So if you can hold it the next issue can be can you cut it square? Square to the shank of the bolt not square to the threads. That can be tricky at times and if you don't get it quite right when you go to introduce it into the nut or whatever uh, threaded area it's going into you run the risk that will cross thread. Cross thread is that uh, you pick up the threads at the wrong angle and starts to tear the threads out. So ideally you want a nice straight cut and you want a means of doing that no matter what the type of bolt or screw is. And that's what I'm about to show you. This is the tool that I've made for cutting off bolts to length. So it's a simple enough device. It is in fact a clamp and it has a range of thread sizes 5mm, 6mm, 8mm, 10mm and 12mm. To use it you select, and this is an 8 this is an 8mm bolt. You pass that through the appropriate thread size. 
you allow it to come out the amount that you want to shorten the bolt and then you do up the nuts at each end and that clamps it in place and then you would use, in my case I always use a hacksaw but you use a saw to cut off that section of the bolt. It cuts square to the shank of the bolt because the threads are tapped square to the plate. It is a relatively simple tool to make. In the, this one's case I've started with a length of 50 millimeter by 8 millimeter thick flat bar. I have welded a piece of pipe across the end and then I have put through 8mm bolts, one on each end, through the pipe and welded it in place at the top. I've then proceeded to drill and tap a series of threads. In my case I've got 5, 6, 8, 10 and 12 millimeter. You could do whatever you wanted. If you wanted an imperial one, it could be 3 sixteenths a quarter, 5 sixteenths, 3 eighths and half inch. It can be whatever thread that, that you want to use. Um, because we're in a metric system here, I've just done it for metric threads. Now, having put the threads through, I've then drawn a line through the center of all of the threads and I have cut down through the center of that and I've cut with a hacksaw. Uh, you don't want to do it with say a wide um, friction wheel, cut off wheel. The issue here is that you want to be able to, by making the hacksaw cut, you've enabled it to act as a clamp and it's firm enough to hold the bolt in place but not so great as to actually deform the bolt which is something you don't want. That's why I say a hacksaw cut uh, which is a millimeter or so is more than sufficient for what's needed here. And then when you put your bolt through you do up the nuts on the 8mm bolts. I guess in the end you don't need to weld the bolts on but it's really convenient to have them welded on at one end. If I made it again, uh, they don't need to be 8mm bolts. I think at the time uh, I had an appropriate piece of pipe that I could cut and it would take the 8mm uh, bolt. If I made it again, I would turn up on the lathe uh, pipe sections which were a sliding fit on the bolt. So the reason I would make, I would machine a sliding fit is that with this piece of pipe you often end up or you can end up uh, one thread over on the movable jaw which is not what you want. Equally you could just have a thicker piece of steel and obviously in a drill press just drill down uh, through the end and just use uh, say a six millimeter bolt. So let's wind up this video by showing the clamp in action. Here I am cutting 5mm off the end of this 6mm bolt. First I screwed the bolt into the 6mm thread on the clamp. The pitch on a standard 6mm or M6 thread is 1mm so I did 5 complete turns of the bolt to extend it out 5mm.
Then I did up the nuts at both ends of the clamp to hold the bolt in place. Then I confirmed the stick out was indeed 5mm and then I secured the clamp in the vise. Then I used a hacksaw to cut the end of the bolt off before deburring the cut edge with a file. Released from the clamp, the shortened bolt has a clean end and is ready for use. I hope you like the little tool. Maybe it's something you can build for yourself. And by all means, do that. I'm by no means the uh, designer of this tool. I uh, saw a chat one time with one and uh, I thought, yeah, I like that. I can use that because I've had all sorts of issues cutting down bolts and uh, so I created it for myself. I created it in metric because that's the majority of what I do and as you can see, I'm always up the short end. So, I hope you enjoyed that video, and if you did, I'd welcome a thumbs up, and by all means, share it widely. If you're into fixing things, you're into maintaining things, you're into renovating things, you're into making things, then White Dog Garage YouTube channel is probably one you should be subscribed to. If you haven't already subscribed, it's easy to subscribe, Hit the subscribe bar down below. While you're there, don't forget to ding the bell so you're all reminded every time a new YouTube video comes out from the White Dog Garage channel. Thank you once again.